In Leiden, we study how nanoparticles affect our ecosystems. We aim to understand how species interactions affect particle toxicity and how particles affect species interactions. As part of this, we study the role of host-associated microbiota. These microbial assemblages contribute to host health and development. They, for instance, shape immune responses, nutrient uptake, metabolism, and may therefore influence how sensitive organisms are to nanoparticles. We study this in a lab using larvae of the zebrafish. These larvae have been used for decades in acute toxicity tests and provide an additional advantage for microbiota research. This is because their embryos develop in a sterile environment and are protected by the chorion membrane. We are almost certain that microbes cannot cross the chorion and only colonize the outside of it. These chorion microbes colonize the larvae once it hatches, first on the skin and when it starts feeding in the intestines. We use this in our experimental setup as it allows us to eliminate all microbes in one of our experimental treatments by briefly rinsing the eggs with bleach, killing the chorion microbes. We can then compare their nanoparticle sensitivity to that of their microbially colonized siblings. So far, we have focused on the effects of sulfur and zinc oxide nanoparticles. And the results thereof were very interesting. After one day of exposure, we found that mortality in the colonized group was much lower than in the germ-free group. And this difference in sensitivity persisted during the second day of exposure, suggesting that colonizing microbiota protects zebrafish larvae against the toxicity of silver nanoparticles. To test if this protection related to the particles, rather than to their shed ions in the exposure medium, we also tested if differences in sensitivity occur against silver ions. And this was only the case following the first day of exposure, showing that at least for the second day of exposure, microbes offered protection against the particles in the exposure medium. At the end of exposure, we also checked how the particles affected the microbiota. We did so by isolating microbes from larvae exposed to the lowest sublethal concentrations of particles and ions. This way we found that at these concentrations both ions and particles exert strong antimicrobial effects. This activity is well known and for this reason silver has already been used for a long time as an antimicrobial agent. However, we also found that some zebrafish microbes are particularly resilient against silver nanoparticles. These microbes simply kept appearing amongst our isolates from silver-exposed larvae, and hence they may be enriched in microbiota following exposure to silver nanoparticles, which we will still investigate in more detail. The results for zinc oxide nanoparticles were very different, as we did not observe this difference in sensitivity between the germ-free and colonized larvae against both the particles and the ions in the exposure medium. Moreover, these particles and ions did not affect microbial abundance. These different results suggest that silver and zinc oxide nanoparticles exert their adverse effects in different ways, and that microbiota don't offer protection against both modes of action. We currently investigate this in a lab with the help of transgenic zebrafish lines, with the ultimate aim to understand how these host microbiota interactions affect nanoparticle toxicity in our ecosystems.